Hey YouTube, welcome to the episode 2 of GSAP for Beginners in Bricks. Yeah, so in this video you're going to learn how to animate a simple landing page like this. Like easy text reveal, uh, rotating logos, uh, image stagger animations using the GSAP library basically. So let's go. So in Bricks environment I just created a, a simple hero landing page just for demonstration purposes and we will be animating each of the elements uh, in this tutorial. Okay, first things first, let's go to the GSAP's um, installation page and install the, the script, the library. Let's grab this code. I'll leave a link down below where you can grab this uh, script tag and let's head over to the bricks, install it. Oh, actually, I installed it already. Let me just clear that out. Let's do that there. Okay, so step one done. Now we need to go to the code uh, box environment and connect this JavaScript external file with uh, our Bricks environment. And if you need to watch episode one, I go into a little bit more detail. So uh, feel free to do so. And you can come back to this video. So. Here we are, let me grab this um, path so I could connect it to Bricks. And I wanna uh, connect it to this uh, JavaScript file. Let's go back to Bricks. Open up a script tag and put the source, which is the path to the JavaScript file. It's called basics. Uh, actually, sorry, it's gsaps, gsap. Oh God, I can't type today, sorry. B6. Dot GS. Script close. Save it. Okay, so now we're connected to the code sandbox and we could um, write our script there. Okay, so let's animate our uh, logo up there. So let's go to our code sandbox environment. Always start when you do this GSAP scripting with GSAP.2. I will explain what this is momentarily. And uh, inside the quote, we wanna uh, put in our target animation element, which is this logo here and have a class, uh, epi2 hero logo. So let's copy that name. And inside the quote, put it in and make sure to put, since this is a class, you wanna put a period in front of your class name. So comma after the quote and curly braces, we wanna tell that element, element after the page load to move over to the right along the X axis about 200. Okay, so put X, it's left to right or right to left. And in this case, we wanna move right positive uh, 200. So let's save it. And if we go to the front end, let's refresh, see what that looks like. Okay, so it's refresh again. So it just moves over to the right. So what happens if we say, um, we want to move it to, to the left. So you would put negative. Refresh, then it goes to the left. You could also move it up and down along the y-axis, like so. And let's say we move it downwards. Positive is down and minus is going up. So in this case, let's push it down 200 along the y-axis. So go to the front, let's refresh. Okay. And then if you push y going to minus 200 along the y-axis. If you refresh now, it should go up yeah, 200. Okay, now let's um, play with some duration. Uh, let's go back to the X because it's, you know, it's pretty easy. So after this property, let's add in duration. How long or how fast do we want the animation to take place? Let's put in five seconds so you can really see Okay, let me refresh. Okay, 
Let's really speed it up so you can see the difference. Let's put in 0 0.2. Refresh. Okay. Okay, now let's animate this guy um, using the from method. So let's go to the code editor, copy this line, put it here and comment out the first one so it doesn't trigger the animation of the previous and change this to from. Okay, now what this means is that I want the animation from a new position to go back to its original position. So it's coming from somewhere and then coming back to its original position. Okay, so that being said, so I want to come from in this example along the y-axis from the bottom. So remember what I said, positive number for y comes from the bottom. When you put a negative number, it actually comes from the top. And uh, duration, let's set it for uh, three seconds just so that we can see. And then we have a new property, opacity. The starting state, oops, starting state would be zero. Okay, let's see what that looks like in the front. And refresh. There. So it comes from comes from 200 y axis duration of three seconds and opacities it starts at zero and then it goes back to the original position like so let me refresh that one more time like that and again you could play around with uh, the duration let's do a half a second let's see how that looks yeah like so and also i want to show you a new property uh, playing around with uh, easing so if you go to the GSAP under the easing section here, scroll down to ease visualizer, and you could just click on any one of the examples, like so. Okay, just for giggles, let's try the bounce out. So just copy this line like that, and come back to the code editor, and let's paste it here, like so, and save it. What's nice about this code editor, it makes it uh, pretty automatically for you to give it a, a nice clean code. That's why I love uh, Call Sandbox. Anyway, let's go back to the front end, refresh. Actually, it went kind of too fast. Let me slow it down. Duration, let's put it three so we can see what's going on. Nice. Okay, but I kind of like generally the power four animation, so I'm going to replace it with this and we'll move on, okay? Replace it, save. And let's check the front end. And change the duration to one second. Refresh. Okay, nice. Okay, now let's take this logo and um, rotate it infinitely. By the way, um, if you go to the GSAP's website under the documentation, go to Tween, and you have all of the uh, properties that you could read and learn. And that's pretty much how I learned it. Going through this documentation, there's a lot of uh, great stuff here. All right, so let's go back. And I'm going to grab this guy to write our code and let's comment this out too okay let's say keep it two uh, we're going to animate the logo okay let's get rid of these guys in the middle and let's put rotation 360 degrees because we want a full circle of the logo and let's repeat it uh, let's just repeat it one time so you can see what's going on and then uh yeah let's just start with that and let's refresh okay rotate it once so how do we for example you could rotate it three times and to the speed like duration uh let's say five seconds and see what that looks like 
So that's one, two, three, about. Okay, oh yeah, here's the second one. And the third one. It's kind of slowing down because there is a um, GFSAP comes with the ease default with the ease out. So we need to tell the ease uh, do not have any ease uh, animation on it. So we just say none. And you'll see. Let me refresh. So it feels more linear. But it's only going to do it three times. But as I said, I want it to go infinitely. So how do we do that? So we go back. Let's change the three. If you change that to minus one, it just means that it's infinite. So let's go to the front end, save it. So it's going to rotate uh, infinitely. And if you want to slow it down, if that's too abrupt, just increase the duration. Let's say 20. And refresh. There you go. You have an infinite rotating uh, icon or logo. Okay, now let's try a very simple text reveal animation. So here's the uh, file setup for the heading. Uh, it's very important that you put it inside a, a div element. In this case, I have a heading wrapper. And inside the heading wrapper, I have the, the heading text. And um, I have a CSS property for the heading wrapper inside the overflow. I set overflow hidden. And I'll explain why. Um, on the transform, you don't need to do this, but I just want to show you the reason for this uh, heading wrapper. It behaves like a mask. So in translate Y, uh, make sure your heading is selected. Translate Y. As I go up, as you can see, that heading wrapper is acting as a mask. Okay? So you don't need to do this, but I just wanted to show you why I put a heading wrapper there. So let's animate this to reveal. Let's head back into our code sandbox environment. And let's just grab these codes. Let's comment these out. Let's write a new codes down here to replace. And we need a new target class. Let's go to the big heading. Copy the new class for the heading. And replace here. And uh, let's do a from again this time. And uh, we don't need these anymore. So we want to... Uh, come from somewhere into its original position. So we want to say on the y-axis, we want to come from 200 axis down below to its original position. And uh, let's do it for uh, start with opacity of zero. So it'll come in from invisible to its full view, opacity one. And then let's do an ease. Uh, let's grab it from, let's try Let's try this guy. Oh no, let's try Expo. Yeah. See what that looks like. Okay. And then uh, what else is there? Yeah, let's just try that. Oh, duration. We forgot the duration. How long is it going to take? Let's try just three seconds so we could see. Nice. Okay, let's do a little bit more. Let's add a rotation of, let's say, let's try like three. It's like a three degrees. Let's see what that looks like. Refresh. Not bad. Refresh. Okay. Let's make it a little faster. Let's do a duration of one second. Refresh. Cool. Let's move on to the thumbnails. Okay, let's go over to Code Sandbox again. Um, yeah, let's activate, uncomment this one because I wanted to rotate the logo again. And let's keep this activated as well. And let's just grab this code. And we need a new target, which is the thumbnail. 
let's go here let's grab select copy my target class for the thumbnail dot class name and give it a this code and I want it to uh, happen from zero opacity and uh, let's do um, I want it to start from the full height of the image from the bottom which is that Y axis percent and you could put a percentage of the height of the, um, the image itself so if it's 100 percent then it's the uh, full height of the, the graphic let's uh, actually put a duration of three so you can see what's happening let's refresh see that's the full height now let's change that to let's say 30 percent of the height of the thumbnail image refresh okay that one's pretty good let's keep it at 30 percent and uh but it's not so exciting isn't it the let's stagger it and i'll show you how to do that it'll stagger animation uh, one by one so the property is called stagger and for now let's put it at one second each save let's see what that looks like one one and one okay still this is nicer but let's improve it let's speed that up 0 0.2 refresh much better and uh, let me write a much better way of doing this so you could write it the same way it's each and put in 0 0.2 actually let's put it back to one basically it's writing like stagger one yeah so you could do it like that and also if you change to amount what happens is uh, instead of each of the animation taking one second each it'll distribute that one second into all four condensed into that one second duration let me refresh and you'll see what i mean that was one second so it's a little faster and also kind of more efficient to control it this way and uh, you could say two now this will move much faster cool and let's change it back to one for now so you can see what's going on and also i want to show you another property uh, inside a stagger and you could do also from within stagger uh, let's say uh, let's do it from the center okay save let me show you what this does refresh so the two thumbnails are in the center it comes up first and then the outer comes second and let me switch that now to end It starts from the end and goes backwards like that staggers uh, the other way from the end and also there's one more uh, edges this should animate outer towards inward there you go and um, well, let's just keep it default and let's distribute that to point two there yeah so thanks for sticking around uh, it's been a long video so thanks for your patience and for the next episode three i will be putting together a sequential animation where the uh, the logo fades in first and then the heading and the thumbnail comes in so kind of a, um, a story like a timeline 
and uh, we'll put this whole layout together as the page loads. So I hope you like and subscribe so you'll be notified on the next uh, video to come. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.